Hello everyone, this is Mustafa from Structure Engineering Basics and today I want to talk to you about uh, this structure, probably one of the greatest structures of all time, the uh, Great Pyramid of Egypt. Look at that thing, look how big it is. Uh, it's old, it's like thousands of years old and it held the record for the tallest man-made structure for thousands of years. I think it's uh, pretty remarkable. And today I want to talk to you about uh, the three things I think uh, made the Great Pyramid a successful project. Uh, so uh, first thing I think is the design. Uh, the designer, like it's it's very it's very it's very interesting structure, and there are chambers inside, um, excellent precision and workmanship. Uh, the designer of the pyramid, they clearly understood what the design requirement was. I imagine the pharaoh or the king wanted to have the tallest uh, structure at the time and wanted to hold the title for thousands of years, and this is pretty much what the uh, builders uh, developed. So. Um, in order to achieve that, uh, I think pretty quickly they chose the pyramid shape because it has a very low probability of failure uh, structure. This is because of just the, the shape, the slopes. If this structure was to like fail or collapse, it will pretty much like collapse on itself. Uh, so I think they did a very good job with the pyramid. Uh, it survived uh, numerous earthquakes, so um, that's a proof that it's uh, earthquake proof. So um, uh, check there for, for uh, design. Uh, the second uh, thing I think contributed to this being a successful project, um, the materials and uh, worksmanship. Um, uh, about two million, two million blocks of limestone and uh, granite was used over about like 20 years to, uh, to build this uh, pyramid and uh, the precision, especially when you go inside like the chamber, um, it is very precise. The workmanship is, is excellent on this uh, project. So uh, the third thing I think was um, communication. Uh, communication was key when you have a project that goes that long and is that big uh, there were actually issues with the huge granite slabs on top of the ceiling of the king's chamber about like mid height of the uh, pyramid uh, they showed sign of cracking under the load once like the um, the upper part of the pyramid was being constructed so the workers obviously um, coordinated, communicated with the designer, um, the issue was looked at and it's actually well documented. You can see how uh, the load transfer was kind of tweaked a little bit to distribute the load of the top of the pyramid to arch or vault across the ceiling of the king's chamber. It's a, it's a very remarkable structure. It has been here for thousands of years. I think just looking, looking at it, we can learn uh, a lot. Uh, that's all what I wanted to talk about today and I will see you uh, next time. See ya.